when you're in the field Talk and to me. you have a white dude mm -hmm. and a black dude, how do you shoot it? Crazy. So <laughs> it's easy to shoot white skin or skin of lighter tones simply because of the way the light capture is captured and everything like that. But there's a show called Insecure, right? Mm. By Issa Rae, um, shot in LA and it's, mm. it's lovely. Mm. But their director and their director of photography went really in depth into what it's like to shoot for black skin, mm -hmm. right? Because there was a lot of controversy around Kodak, right? And how Kodak developed film to shoot white skin, mm -hmm. right? And so, unless you were taking furniture photos, you had to expose it differently and everything like that, but the darker, richer tones were not coming out. Right. So in this conversation, um, Issa and her team are talking about playing with different color that just like reflects beautifully mm. off of black skin. Mm -hmm. The sun mm -hmm. is lovely, mm -hmm. blue light is lovely. You have a range of tones to explore, but also, in contrast with a lot. So you need to think more um, intentionally about the outfits and the backdrops, and it can't just be something super simple. So I think when I'm shooting um, black and white, um, and not just in terms of the style, but in terms of people, yes. <laughs> it has made me more like cognizant of where this photo is being taken mm. and how to present it like beautifully but it's still a work in progress yeah. i hope i'm doing yeah. it justice yeah yeah well i think you're i think you're a hell of a lot ahead of the game than me no uh. and yeah <laughs> and um, way more lot, articulate you. you know i just i i have a problem with it um with photographing of you know having to expose for two different color skins mm. and um, i'm always having a problem with it right um and so i kind of will go for the medium in a very technical way, just go for the medium range mm -hmm. and then probably just increase the shadows and decrease the highlights right. in Lightroom and kind of, you know. And that's how you end up with the product. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I don't really, I actually prefer to photograph black skin. Really? I find, yeah, I just think it's easier and richer and beautiful, you know. Um, depends on, it depends on what the job is, mm. it really does. Yeah. Which is crazy. And then it's maybe it's because I live here and as well. Yeah. Right? So you have yeah. a unique perspective on yeah. like and you're and, you have and you many get, you, subjects. You're, you're, you kind of get better at what you're used to. Exactly. You know, and so that's that's way more my focus than than white skin. Mm. Yeah. You've been in the industry for long, about fifteen years professionally, yeah. but you've obviously been shooting since your first photo at school. Mm. Right? Um, yeah. What advice would you give as like a Titan? You've done work across across the world mm. right yep. and you've especially explored Kenya mm -hmm. is there any particular advice mm. you'd give someone like yeah. like me like an upcoming photographer I suppose, I suppose three things okay one is like technical one would be emotional and one would be more of a kind of conscious level all right um, so the technical side would be to walk into any space mm. that you're excited about or that you want to shoot and just look at the light Okay. Just uh, like clock the light from the moment you walk in, where it's falling, where it's hitting, what it's lying on, you know, how it's dimming someone's face, how right. it's just dancing on a wall, whatever it is, and then get the story of that. So, because that's when the beauty comes in. Or, or essentially, if you want to shoot the ugly, that's that too. But that's that's it's all about the light okay. in that sense. So that's in the technical. So that's aspect. the technical all on right. my side, yeah. Um, then. I'd say the emotional, um, mm -hmm. and that comes from a real figurehead that I really look up to. He's, okay. a, he's a magnum and National Geographic photographer, a okay. guy called David Allen Harvey. Okay. And he says, don't shoot what you see, shoot what is, fe is felt within okay. the room. So, hmm. so have the empathy, walk into a room and clock the emotions. Right. If you're shooting people, clock the emotions of what, what's going on within that room mm. and photograph that. Okay. So photograph, don't, don't photograph the face, photograph the sadness right? or photograph the excitement or whatever it is. I think that's just, it's just, it's so key for me that and I, I'm so glad he articulated it so well. So something like looking beyond just the subject, but like into what emotion yeah. is conveyed across yeah, this have, entire... I go into a shoot with empathy, mm. whatever it may be. 
even if it's ugliness and you think, I really dislike this person, clock it and photograph that. Okay. You know, like whatever that person is going through, shoot the feeling. It's really important. Okay. It's just really, it's just such an amazing bit of advice that I feel that he, he kind of put out there. And the final one is just, I suppose, a consciousness in photography. Mm. And that is that a lot of photographers feel that it's all about luck. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, luck and luck is like a, a lightning bolt mm. that's going to hit you and you're going to get this huge and amazing kaboom. Woo <laughs> yeah. But actually, there's this incredible woman who's this professor at Stanford University called Tina Selig, okay. who, who articulates it very well. And she says, luck isn't a lightning strike or, you know, a lightning bolt that's just going to hit you in one go. What is it? It's like the wind that's blowing constantly okay. and it's always there. And it's for you to harness it. So you have to, you have to, you have to jump on that. Get and in touch. Yeah, and yeah. you have to just, you have to notice it. And quite often it comes in very small, small, small stages. So take that small job that you think isn't a huge amount of money, or do that free job. But but if your heart's there and it's passionate, and you know you're going to get incredible images out there because right. those images that you get will get you that much further. And yes. Who knows what what that's going to bring you? Whether sure, do in the your bread wallet. and butter jobs. Right. Absolutely but just harness, harness the wind and it's constantly there. I love that.